Sport. Hello! So I wanted to do something a little different today. To celebrate the new Doctor and the new season, which I am loving so far. I think Jodi is doing an amazing job. I know there are a lot of contradicting opinions on the new cast and the new season, but I for one am loving it. And if you are not loving it, then you probably shouldn't have clicked on this video. <laughs> Serving the tea scold and hot. But anyways, I just wanted to do a quick transformation, mostly to see if I could even do it. <laughs> During watching the first episode, I ordered all of this stuff on Amazon. When I see something I want to cosplay, I don't waste any time. <laughs> so yeah, I just did a quick makeup transformation. I don't think I look exactly like her, but you know, that ain't the point of cosplay. Aww. Oops. So anyways, I hope that you enjoy this very quick tutorial, so let's get to it. So starting off with the wig. So I got this wig on Amazon and first things first, I'm going to cut off the lace. And as you can see, it's a little bit too long. So what I'm going to do is chop off this much. If you're a hairdresser, please look away. This is probably painful. So I first went in with my more sharp hairdressing scissors and then after that went in with my thinning shears just to kind of break it up and make it look a little more layered. But now, what's ahead of us? Next go in with foundation. You can just use whatever you usually use for this. Then I decided I needed to pin back my hair. So here's the doctor as a plastic. I guess. Next, brows. So first I'm going in with my eyebrow pencil and just marking out where I want to darken it. And then I'm going in with my eyebrow pomade and just darkening it up a bit. First with brown. And then I'm going in with black just to make the ends a bit darker. Following a reference photo for this definitely helps. Now eyeshadow. I'm going in with my NYX Ultimate Palette. You can use whatever brown eyeshadow you want, but we're going in with a light brown base on the upper eyelids and then the lower eyelids. Next, I'm going in with my... Um, I just... Uh, uh, my Epic Ink Eyeliner from NYX, and I'm kind of faking the shape of my eye. Her eyes are a little bit more downturned than mine, so I'm kind of faking that with this eyeliner. And then I'm adding it on the bottom as well. This turned out to be a little bit too harsh, so try to stick with brown eyeshadow for this if you can. Then going in with mascara on top and bottom lashes. And then I'm going in with the darker brown and adding it to my bottom lid. To what new horizons I'm also using a shadow to kind of define this eye shape underneath the eye. And then I'm going in with a little bit of white contouring. I'm gonna go back and do more details later, but I just wanted to kind of map it out. Now I'm going in with my ombre blush, since she has a very bronze blush. And then I'm going in and contouring with my NYX contour palette. I'm basically just following a reference photo for this, trying to change my features to make it look most like hers. I'm going in and making it very kind of patchy and dark, and then I'm going to go in and blend it out after. This can get very tricky, and I'm still not the master of this but the key is just to kind of blend it into your skin so it doesn't look like it's just a bunch of dirt on your face, which for me, sometimes it does. <laughs> I'm also going in with the white shades to bring out those highlights too. Next, lips. I'm going in with my lip liner and kind of faking my lip shape to match hers and then filling it in with the same lip liner. Then I'm adding a little bit of highlight on the top just to hide my natural lip line and kind of make it look a little bit more believable. 
And then you're gonna dirty up your shirt with some eyeshadows or anything that you want. This part was fun. And you're done. To what new horizons can we look now? Where are tomorrow's opportunities? The frontiers of the future are not on any map. But now, what's ahead? Ta-da! So that's it. Uh, you can get all this stuff on Amazon and it's quite fun to beat it up a little bit. Uh, this is my favorite outfit of hers so far. I just got a thing for menswear, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, I hope that you guys liked it. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!